glycans integrate genetic, epigenetic, and environmental factors. If you live, look at this protein revolving in the middle, everything hairy on its surface are glycans. We cannot understand the function of that protein without looking into its glycans. This is the S-glycoprotein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Or we think about antibodies. Antibodies are the main weapons of our immune system. FAB part is binding to an antigen. But what to do next is deciding by the FC part, actually deciding by the glycan in the FC part. And if we have glycans like this, the IgG will be pro-inflammatory. It will kill the target. So it will be an enemy, kill an enemy. But we can put a different glycan. And this glycan will tell antibodies, this antigen is a friend. We do not want to attack it. Actually, we will suppress inflammation and let that antigen live. And this is a decision made by a glycan. An analogy I like to make are these two birds. So this is a polypeptide defined by our genome. This is a glycoprotein with a peptide and a glyco glycan part. And we can be the best scientists in the world. We can have all the funding. We can uh, have a perfectly planned ex experiment. We can execute it perfectly. But if we are trying to understand flight, and we are using this bird as a model, the closest to understanding flight we could come is to see this bird walking. Because bird without its feathers cannot fly. Protein without its glycans cannot perform all the functions proteins are supposed to perform. And the majority of proteins are glycosylated. Before I go on, one word of caution. Glycation is something completely different. Glycation is a chemical reaction between glucose and amino groups on proteins. We usually measure it as HbA1c. We know it's very important, but it has nothing to do with glycosylation. Glycosylation is an additional layer of complexity. So the proteins will have a polypeptide part, defined by a gene, it's a billions of years of wisdom, and then it will have a glycan part, defined through a network of dozens of hundreds of genes. This is the network we mapped for IgG glycosylation, which will create a glycan structure, which will be added to the protein. So if you look from a functional aspect, alternative glycosylation is analogous to coding mutation. We all know coding mutation can kill you, wrong amino acid, wrong protein sequence, protein does not function. Alternative glycosylation can have a very same effect. But from informational or evolutional aspect, glycan composition is inherited as a complex trait. So this enables diversity without the risk for genetic heritage. 